Welcome back to the Mowing in the Dark podcast. I am your host, Aaron Sutter. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Guys, today we have a couple of special guests with us here on the podcast and on YouTube. We are recording this one today, thankfully. Uh, So, let me introduce you. And, well, I'll have them introduce themselves. But, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Renee Sutter, Aaron's wife. There we go. So I've got the wife on the podcast. And who are you? Levi. This is Levi. He's our youngest son. And this is a special episode because Levi has a project that he's doing. And we incur in our house, both Renee and I are business owners. And we encourage our kids to find ways to make money for things that they want. And so Levi came up with a great idea to sell something so that he can do what? What do you want to do, Levi? Buy an RC car. Levi wants to buy an RC car. What kind of RC car do you want to buy? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, let's let's talk a little bit. When you have kids on the podcast, it's a little hard to get them to talk. They're a little shy. All right, so Levi, explain what the RC car is that you would like. Is it mm. one that you can get just from, like, the grocery store? No. So it's like a special, you have to special order it online? Yeah. You can say anything you want about it, Levi. You can talk as much as you want. before we got on the podcast he was chatting our ears off so now he's not saying anything so uh levi you are going to be selling some stuff right Yep. and what is the thing that you're selling kind of explain it don't just say what it is explain what you're doing okay can you do that nope (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> nope all right so <laughs> so what levi is going planning to do is well you can tell them what you're creating tell them what you're creating art you're doing art okay so what kind of art there's all different kinds of art what are you using um are you painting are you doing sculptures what kind of art i don't know well, right now you've used some crayons, right? Any yeah. markers, colored pencils, maybe. Colored pencils. Mm-hmm. And then most of your artwork is like original, like drawings that you're doing. What's some of the drawing ideas that you've done so far? Hmm. Wasn't there one that was like a house I saw? Yeah. Okay, and then you had some ideas for future art. What were some of those? Hmm. You mentioned something before we got on the podcast. It's mowers. Well, mowers. And what else? You're creating one right now. And it's it's got a cube in it. What is that? Rubik's Cube. A Rubik's Cube. Okay, so he is creating these art things. He's coming up with them in his own mind. He does have some pictures that he's colored. But uh, we're not sure. He's not sure if we're going to put those up for sale or not. But I decided that as he was telling us about this at dinner time, I thought, you know what? It might be good to put this out there to the lawn care community because I know that the lawn care community loves to support kids in their endeavors and trying to make money for things that they want. So Marcus, uh, our oldest son, who is not here right now, he got to go hunting with his uncle today. Uh, We are recording this on Tuesday, November 15th, but this episode will go live on Thursday. So we're doing it now so that Levi has a little bit of time to produce a little bit more artwork and things like that. Because he still has to go to school and do all that stuff, and he's got to make the art. So uh, Levi thought that it would be a great idea to try and sell some of this stuff, and we weren't sure exactly how we were going to do it. And so I decided, well, maybe we should tell the whole podcast audience about it, about it and then give them a place where they can go 
to look at your artwork and see if they want to buy it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to put a link in the description below to, I believe, probably Renee's Facebook account or something. And uh, all his artwork will be posted there. You guys can go see it. You can look at it. You can comment on it. Even if you don't buy it, you can at least see it and comment on it and say, hey, that's pretty neat. Things like that. Because uh, in our house, we love to encourage creativity and, and thinking outside the box for ways to make money. Because in our house, we don't give allowance. We don't buy huge Christmas gifts or huge birthday gifts. We want our kids to learn how to make money and to think outside the box and ways how to do that. Now, they do get money for Christmas and sometimes birthdays and things like that. And that's fine. We're, we're, we're happy about that. But we also want them to work and be creative to make some money. And so the RC car that Mark, that Levi wants is expensive, right? Yeah. What, how much ballpark, like how much do you think this RC car is going to cost? Probably about $300. About $300. He's got big aspirations, guys. This is only seven. He's only seven years old. But his brother bought an RC car two years ago with his own money that he earned. And Levi helped him make some money for that, right? Yeah, and so Levi now wants his own, and this is a big purchase for Levi. So he's got his bank account started, but he wants to earn some money to get up to the amount of money that he needs. So if you guys out there in the listening audience would be willing to at least check out this artwork and support Levi's dream of getting this RC car that would be a big encouragement to him because he, he's not able to come out and work with me yet and earn money. Uh, he's just not big enough. And so we're thinking of ways outside the box. When he is big enough, then he's going to come out and work with dad and earn some real money, right? Yeah. Yeah. But for now, we're just finding simple little ways to try and make money. So... With all that being said, guys, I would really encourage you to find a young person in your community, maybe in your family, encourage them to branch out and try to make money. I think it is super important to train your kids to find ways to earn money on their own, not just wait for grandpa and grandma to give them money for their birthday or uncles and aunts, but to really go out there and earn your money. When I was a kid, that's what I did. I started a lawn care business to earn money. And it was pretty lucrative. And I just saved that money up and I would buy things. And then I got an apprenticeship at a place that built mini barns. And so I worked there and started really making money. So my lawn care business kind of went away and I started working for this company and over the years, you know, 14, 15, and 16, I bought at least three different guitars in that time, uh, be all from my own money. I bought all my own clothes, all my own shoes. My parents didn't buy any of that stuff anymore for me. Once I was working, so once I started my lawn care business at 10 years old, Sure, they helped me out because I wasn't making a ton of money. So they would still buy my clothes at 10, 11, maybe even 12 years old. But once I hit that 13, 14 years uh, where I was working for this company, they stopped buying my clothes. I, I could spend my money how I wanted, but it was up to me now. And that was very beneficial for me. How about you, Renee? What, what, what did you do growing up? to earn money because I know I know your parents weren't wealthy you didn't come from you know a silver spoon in your mouth or anything like that <laughs> house in the country on a creek um, little house on the prairie <clears throat> it was um, a lot of babysitting um, families like in the church cousins that sort of thing so we do a lot of babysitting my 
say we, my sister and I, um, that was our big thing that we did. We'd help out like at weddings or events. People would, I mean, it wasn't like a ton of money, but you know, they'd pay us like a stipend kind of thing. And, and we would have nursery available during someone's wedding or some sort of event. Um, and then once I got a little bit older, about 15, started working at a golf course that was very just down the road from actually where I grew up and started by cleaning their, um, goodness, what is it? The, like the gift, not the gift shop, the, <laughs> the clubhouse. Yeah. See, it's been a while. So <laughs> started <laughs> with, uh, cleaning the clubhouse and just doing little things like that until I turned 16. And then I was kind of like officially on the payroll at that point. Um, did event support like catering and just hustling busing tables that sort of thing that you do at 16 um <laughs> this is way back you know when technology wasn't like existent <laughs> too much um but we would have big um golf outings and we'd have this huge board grid board and everyone's name and then it was my job as like a 16 year old and i'd be filling in people's scores and everything so that was kind of cool um and then elevated into actually doing some bartending and then started being um, one of the main cooks up there um, and did that for six summers until I kind of got out um, on my own as far as like graduating high school and going to college and working part-time. So when did you start that again? Uh, golf course was at 15 but then babysitting was probably 11, 12. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, in, in our time, we're, I'm in my 40s, and you're... you're in my 39s. 39s. <laughs> <laughs> Perpetually 39 now. She's at 39. That's where it stops. Well, I thought I was turning 38, remember? And then yeah. y'all reminded me I couldn't do math. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad birthday. <laughs> yep. So um, that was the, the thing to do when you were a young lady back in those days was to babysit for money. Uh, I know my sister did that. I know lots of young ladies in our church and community would do that for families to to get money because I mean we didn't have YouTube you couldn't make money from YouTube then there was none of that and very few kids got allowance there wasn't a whole lot of families in our lives that got allowance and so I know my cousins they would get money for chores like they'd get a quarter for doing something it was, it was nothing but, you know, we don't pay our kids to do chores around the house. That's, they are part of the family. They need to contribute to the family. And so that's why we're, we're doing this whole thing. We're, the Bible says train your child in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. And that's what we're trying to train these guys to do is to understand where money comes from how to earn it, how to think outside the box to get it, and then to to be able to use money for things that they want or need. Mm -hmm. And it's how to learn how to save it, learn how to spend it. Sometimes there's some yep. bad lessons you learn, like I shouldn't have spent that and I regret it because that is going to cost me five hours of working, you know, to buy this thing. But I think one big theme... It's not just about earning money or making money like as a, like I must have money, but it's to me, it's a kind of an ownership. Um, it's responsibility, it's ownership of your abilities, um, being good steward of your abilities um, and using them, you know, to benefit others. But in turn, you know, you can get paid as well, but the ownership portion comes in, you know, when Levi gets his money, he can choose how to spend it and then he will take care of that item. What we saw that with Marcus, he worked really hard to earn money. Levi helped him, worked really hard to earn that money, and he takes care of that RC car. I mean, we're talking like big, fancy RC car that goes 30 miles per hour. I mean, this isn't like your little joystick thing. It's it's like a full-on right. deal. So it, it cost him about 300 bucks. Yeah, so he the ownership, because that money hurt <laughs> to earn right. 
it it um, means that much more when he has that object that he's worked hard for, that he takes a lot of pride in it, and he controls his behavior to make sure that he doesn't damage it. Yeah, and that's that's huge for especially for these larger things. Like I have like I I don't know I don't play video games a whole lot. But if I do play video games, it's usually like an online flight simulator, which is free. And so what I do, because I'd love to take flying lessons, but we don't have the money for that. So I bought a little video game yoke, like a a plane yoke, and a little side controller. It was like 60, 70 bucks. And because Marcus, our oldest son, or Levi, didn't buy this stuff, they don't take care of it like they do their own stuff. Like they'll use it on a laptop here at my son's school desk and then he'll just put it on the floor and just leave it and then he'll kick it or whatever. He doesn't care about it at all because he didn't he didn't have any pain with purchasing that item. And so that's what we are getting at with with our kids. And like Renee said, we want them to save some, spend some, and give some. And so, I mean, Marcus has a huge savings account. He's got a lot of money. Uh, we've been talking, I've been talking to him a lot about just trying to remind him that he's 12. When he's 15 or 16, he's going to want to look at cars. I'm not going to buy his first car. He's going to buy his first car. That's the way it was with my family, and that's the way it's going to be with, with our family because I there is a pride of ownership when you purchase your own things. And so I, I'm really um, reminding Marcus, especially because he's older, that you you earn the money and make sure that you're putting a lot of it away in savings so that you can earn or so that you can purchase a big thing that you want. And the the RC car was kind of the first step in that. And now he's he's seeing the bigger picture. And we're talking about vehicles, we're talking about college, things like that. And so we're starting now with Levi too, because it's super important. So Levi, if you could, would you come out and work with me in the summer to earn money? Yes. Yeah, you would. Uh, and you would do a lot of things around the house to earn money too, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just not always possible, is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a heavy sigh. <laughs> He's saying, you cheapskates. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and we don't pay for chores, do we? Not much. No, we don't pay for chores. <laughs> we don't pay money for chores. I've done a few special things. You guys helped me with special projects. And if you had a good attitude and worked hard and you put a little bit of sweat into it, then you did get a little bit of reward. But that's maybe I can count on one hand the times yep, I've done that. Yep. So, Levi, do you have any art ideas that you're thinking of doing uh, as, as we're preparing to uh, put your art out online for these people to look at? What one? What's one idea that you've got in your brain? I know sometimes you just sit down with a piece of paper and you just start coloring, and whatever comes out comes out. But do you have any idea of what one piece might look like that you haven't done yet? It's okay if you don't. We gotta keep. We gotta keep moving, though. You know, I was. I was thinking. Um, maybe people can comment on this if they would be interested in a custom piece of art. Oh, you so could request one. If they, we put one out where it was just custom, and then they purchased it, and then in their purchase notes, they could say, "I'd really love. I love cats, or I love." trees in the fall time and all their different colors or I love snow I love snowmen or anything like that and then Levi could I would think would you be comfortable doing that Levi yeah yeah and even if it was kind of a hard subject you could kind of make it your own sure yeah 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 okay 
I tell you what, guys, Marcus did this too. You get him he, when he's not having a headset on, not a microphone and not a camera in front of him. He will talk your face off. But when you put headphones on him and you sit him down in front of a camera, he he will only say one word answers. <laughs> it's like he forgets how to how to conversate. So <laughs> we're just going to have to keep going here. So <laughs> we're going to we're going to take requests for art, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we'll have some and we'll, pre-made. Yep. You'll do your own. And we don't know how long we're going to do this, but, um, you know, if you guys feel like you want to purchase some of this artwork, I mean, he's seven, so it's not going to be magnificent in, in like adult world, but it, in kid world, he is very good at art. And so I, I would, I would encourage you to check it out. If you feel like you want to purchase one, you can purchase one. We don't have any prices yet or anything like that. Um, and and if you want to just donate to his RC car fund, you can do that as well. We would will take that. Uh, but otherwise, I, I think that's about it for mm -hmm. this episode. Any any other ideas, Levi? No. No. Okay, well, why don't your brother's here? Why don't you go let him in? Okay. All right, take your headset off. All right. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys go out and check out this artwork. It, it would help him out a lot. It would help Levi out a lot. So we will see you in the next episode.